So bobcat fever, otherwise as known as cytosome felis, is a blood parasite that affects our domestic cats, so our pet cats are prone to getting that. And it's spread through a tick bite. And so it's felt that the reservoir are bobcats. Bobcats get infected, but they don't get infected as severely as what the, our domestic cats do. So they kind of keep that going in the population. It used to be thought that Dermacenter, or the American dog tick, was the primary vector or carrier of this disease as far as the ticks go. It's now felt that the Amblyoma americanum, which is the uh, Lone Star tick, is now the carrier. Because when they look at where this disease happens, it's where they can track and see where these Lone Star ticks are. And most people have probably seen a Lone Star tick, and they are the ones that have a bright white spot on the back of them. Peak incidence is kind of happening right now. So this is when we see a lot of it when, in you know, late spring, early summer, when a lot of the ticks are coming out. But we will see sporadic cases throughout the year and even some into the fall. But this is more of a rural disease there again where the bobcats are, where there's lots of the lone star ticks. So usually there's tall grass, brush, things like that. In your rural areas, if your cat likes to stay primarily in the yard, try to keep things, keep your grass mowed down so it's not tall. The ticks tend to like the taller grasses. Keep the shrubbery, you know, trimmed up to a minimum, get the debris out. But there again, the absolute best way is just to keep them indoors and away from any possible tick bite. So typically, signs will start showing up anywhere from about 5 to 20 days after the tick bite. So we have kind of a difference in length of time when this might happen. First, what you're probably going to notice is they're going to be really lethargic, tired acting. Their appetite soon goes start going down. They may feel very hot to you because they will tend to run a pretty high fever early in the course of the disease. As the disease progresses, you might see breathing problems. The whites of their eyes or the inside of the ears might start looking yellow to you. They start getting jaundice. Their temperature will actually start to go down as they near the end stages of the disease. And this disease, unfortunately, for the majority of cats, not all, but for the majority, tends to be fatal. We don't have a vaccine, unfortunately. What we do need to do for our cats is to try to do tick control. So talk with your veterinarian and see what the best product may be for your cat and then daily tick checks on these cats if you can. Um, check them over head to toe, look between their toes too, um, looking for any kind of ticks. It does not affect humans, does not affect dogs, so this is for us, it's, it's just a cat thing.